What's up, guys? This is Mike Loris, and I'm gonna be playing Viper. And I friggin' love Viper. Viper is my favorite hero, so we should be having some good times, unless uh, Night Stalker Lich is in this mid lane. In which case, fun times not as much. Oh dear. Oh wait, yes, it's only Night Stalker. Hello. All right, we're gonna have a good time right now. We're gonna be doing okay. Free harassment all day long. He is going for a quick bottle. He's gonna regret going for that. Because that means he does not have a stout shield. That means he's going to be hurting all day long. Viper is such a huge mid game hero. He could crush so many people in the mid lane. It's so much fun also. Because not only do you win the lane, but you also frustrate the crap out of your opponents. They're like, damn it, why can't I why can't I survive in this lane? And then you're like, LOL, poison attack poison attack, or regular attack, I guess. Uh, you just gotta make sure to not get too over-aggressive with it. If you get too over-aggressive, then you miss out on all the last hits, and that's not good. But anyway, uh, yeah, I do enjoy Viper. He is my favorite hero. Has been for quite some time. And with Viper, it's all about orb walking. If you could get your orb walk down, then you have this hero down. Also, don't be afraid to just turn up the aggression. Uh, the skill build, uh, I do have a, I believe I have a video of Viper already, but I also think it's fairly old. It was like when, in the uh, old format of like the stats being really tiny. So hopefully we'll get a little bit of an updated game, and plus, I have Drow Ranger on my team, so I'm going to be doing that much more damage. What a beautiful combination we have right now. Uh, Drow, Windrunner, and Viper were all randomed, by the way, so that's pretty cool right there. Hopefully we'll be shutting down this Night Stalker because if Night Stalker gets big, then he could uh, pretty much kill me straight out when it's night time. Got to keep him off this gold line. If I keep the creep wave right here, that would be very nice. But unfortunately, this tower shot's going to spoil a couple things. But now Night Stalker should have his bottle. Yes, he does. Not like that's gonna matter. Because we will continue to uh, stop that Night Stalker. I don't appreciate that. Skill build, you want to get your poison attack to level 3 as soon as possible, and then you can usually head towards a little bit more nether toxin. It makes you do a little more damage, and really the level 3 uh, poison attack, uh, you get it purely because of the 0 second cooldown, which is pretty sweet. Night Stalker is now going to start controlling the runes. Let's see if we have any runes on the top lane. We can pick this one up and deny it now. Rune should be there. Which is kind of unfortunate. This lane isn't going as well as I thought it would go. Night Stalker is being a pain in my ass. Just keep harassing this guy. And we're doing okay because we are going to get our Aquila Ring, Boots of Speed, deliver all of that. We will continue. Uh, running over this lane until the six minute mark, in which case we will start to play a little bit more reserved, but I should be level six by then, so we will be able to get Viper Strike and then hopefully stand toe to toe with this Night Stalker. Uh, the Drow Aura will help me quite a bit as well, it'll be very, very fun for me. Turn this Aura off as well. We want this for a zero second cooldown. Now we could, uh, in theory, walk him down. What I mean by that is just uh, open up with one poison attack and then chain that off poison attack after poison attack, and he should go down, that is, if he steps up to the lane, here we go, I'm not going to hit the, uh, him on the high ground, which is unfortunate about, the, the unfortunate part about playing Viper in the mid lane is that, uh, you do have to deal with vision, and being an orb walking hero, he is highly reliant on the vision, and he's going to get another rune, and that's might go top, what shame, he's going to use the runes to, uh, survive in this lane, it's going to be a little bit of a bummer for me. What does he have? He has a regen rune. He's going to burn all of his mana. And then try to uh, pop that regen rune. So I'm going to take a little bit more harassment right here. Uh, against this team, I could go straight vanguard. It's probably what I'm going to end up doing. I don't want to get hit by this. If I could just draw out the uh, time he's just holding that rune, it'll be pretty good. He's not actually getting a whole lot of last hits. Here we go, we have our Viper Strike right now. Now if he steps up, could go for a kill. Should be fun. Eh. Get that hit. Get it. Come on, Viper Strike. There we go. 
First blood has been drawn, ladies and gentlemen. And what a first blood it was. Oh, he mad. Oh, you know he mad. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna eat this tango, go over here, and then we're gonna go up here, get ourselves a ring of health because this item is what we want. And although I can go for a bit booster, I really want that regeneration because Night Stalker is gonna start to be really pissed at me, and I don't really want to deal with that. So we're doing pretty well for ourselves. Probably should also start to get a magic. We'll, we'll make a sm small detour into the magic wand territory. That would help us quite a bit as well. So first blood. Uh, most of the time you could afford to get a first blood. Oh, hello. Don't have much mana, however, so I don't know if I could actually... We could almost get that. It's close. Night Soccer sells his regen rune, so that's why he's trying to burn his mana. And I don't have my ultimate for another 15 seconds, so I gotta be careful. I don't even have much mana to cast my ultimate if he... Uh, starts to go aggressive on me so I gotta be careful for just a little bit longer once I get my ultimate I will be able to keep harassing him even though it is nighttime so that is the beauty of Viper your ultimate is so crippling it's amazing I love it oh right we're going to buy these items we're going to deliver them stalker missing nighttime watch out and hopefully he's going to go for not me because if he does go for me that would mean I am not gonna be able to farm anymore and Viper is all about that farm. Not as much as some other heroes, but uh, still, it's okay. Here boots. We're, we go up to this top lane because mid is pretty much a giant dead zone. And oh shit! Well, look at that. Night Stalker is missing. Too bad for them. Viper is not going to have any of that shit unless I run into Night Stalker right now, which hopefully I won't. Hello. Come on! Come on! Come on! Give me that, give me that. Okay, this slow is a little bit too crippling for me. Ah, I wasted the ultimates. That's a shame. We could still go for these guys, though. Get a shackle on them. One more hit, one more hit, one more hit. Well, okay, good, good work, Drow. Oh, we're gonna get you, too. Don't think we forgot about you, man. Don't think we forgot. We did not forget. And that, baby, is how you play Viper. I'm still at friggin' full HP. Because they didn't focus me because they're very kind like that. I have a couple of stick charges that I don't actually need to use quite yet. And if we keep this Night Stalker down in this first night phase, that would be absolutely huge for our team. DK wasted Dragon Form and nothing, so that's I good. cannot hear what that guy is saying because I must have done something to we my volume. So hopefully in everything is okay on the audio end of things. Hello, it's Shadow Fiend. I do like going up against Shadow Fiends. Yeah. They're like Night Stalkers, except they're a lot easier to kill, which is fun. If I, if I tag him once with my poison, he's pretty much screwed. I will search this rune. You will search that one. Hopefully I get it, because if I get it, I can make a kill happen. Oh, nope. Illusion rune. But at least, at least it doesn't go to the Night Stalker. Uh, Night Stalker is just going to own the crap out of bot, but I would think that they would realize that Night Stalker is missing. Oh, they're going to make it out. Oh, cool. Well done. Like, you can't always call Night Stalker missing when it's nighttime. It's just an assumption built into the game. If it's nighttime, you gotta watch out, because Night Stalker is coming to get you, and he does not take any prisoners. If Shadow Fiend shows his face, that'll be the last thing he ever sees, is my venomous tides flowing down into him. Unless Night Stalker's here, in which case... In which case, I want to get one point of this. If I could tag him with this poison, that's game over for you, Shadow Fiend. It's game over for you. And he's playing really cautiously. He's doing the correct thing. Okay, we're going to make our Vanguard. The reasoning why you want to get Vanguard on Viper is... Uh, well, usually when it's Vanguard, it's like, if it's ranged hero, you don't get it. But Viper does so much damage, uh, just with his general skills that you don't necessarily need to build damage. The build I typically follow is Vanguard, or, you know, I change it up sometimes, but uh, get a survival item, either Hood or Vanguard, get the power treads. Which, you know, no, I'm not done with the Vanguard yet. I'm not done yet. Okay, come on, Shadow Fiend, get over here. And then you get the power treads, and then you get a Manta Style. So you're very tanky, you do some very good damage with your Nether Toxin, your ultimate also does a ton of damage as well, which is pretty cool. 
And I gotta watch myself, because Night Stalker's missing. Let's take a look at the clock. It's still not yet daytime. Okay. And NS is bottom, and uh, Shadow Fiend's not getting much. I am very much so winning this lane. Here we go. We're going to deliver that. We're going to get our Vanguard up on the board. Hopefully, by moving up here, we will be able to secure ourselves a haste rune or an invisibility rune or something that could help us kill things. Hello, it is the correct rune. And should we go for Shadow Fiend? Let's go for Shadow Fiend, I say. He does not know that we are here. But he thinks that he is all alone and safe. Joke's on you, Shadow Fiend. LOLOL. LOLOL. You're so dead. You're so very dead. And now we could use the rest of our haste rune to run ourselves to the bot lane where shit is happening. It's a little bit too late. Because we don't really have much haste rune left. I roam. <laughs> hello, hello, Dragon Knight. Oh, you want to go? Oh, please, please. I encourage you. Well, maybe you don't want to encourage him that much. They're still very dangerous. It's it's nighttime and I'm not invulnerable, so. That was actually even going up that hill was probably a little bit dangerous. They saw me coming as well, so that's. This area, I'm pretty sure, is well warded. I shouldn't be doing this right now. This is. Going to this area is very, very dangerous, and I'm probably going to pay for it. I'm not going to pay for it because Dragonite's still in that bot lane, and they don't have any stuns aside from Dragonite and Rubik. So that's pretty cool. If I get another Haste Rune. Haste Rune is a pretty darn important uh, good rune on Viper. It lets you close in the distance. The problem with Viper is that he doesn't really have that much movement speed. If you tag someone with your poison, then it's all over. Uh, it doesn't really matter how much movement speed you have if they're slowed to a crawl. But other than that, you gotta make sure you close the distance. That's when having uh, someone the long range initiation really helps. Storm Spirit is pretty good. Uh, Magnus is also pretty good, actually. Windrunner, not bad. So we are going to be dealing with a good amount of initiation this game. And uh, look at this, we're all polite and everything. And he didn't say please. And okay, now it's the. Okay, what did he take? He took Poison Attack, right? No, he took Viper Strike. Is that the only thing you take? Eat. Oh, Need to figure out what he took. Yeah, he took Viper Strike. There's nothing I could cast other than that, unfortunately. So every single time he's going to steal that. I know that their Night Stalker is probably going to be in the jungle eventually. He's right now in the mid lane. Hello! Guys, it's time to kill people, guys. Where is the reverse polarity? There it is, but it missed. I'll take this one. You guys can take that one. Hey, it's Night Stalker! Look at that. It's not nighttime, bro. You might want to be careful. I might want to be careful because I'm taking a ton of damage. Here comes Rubik. I'm going to get Viper Strike. I'm going to go down. I didn't buy my items quick enough. And kill him. Kill him. There you go. Whatever. A good trade was had by all to buy my items, but I'm still not quite used to the quick buy thing. But whatever, we got it. We got him on the ropes right now. Took that Dragonite down. He has a lot of HP. I need to get some uh, more damage back bot. Uh, yeah. All back. Is this Lich level 6 yet? Did not expect that. Oh dear. Oh dear. Why are you not going back, guys? You gotta go back. Nice Lich does have his ultimate, but I'm going to be here as well, and I will have my ultimate. Yeah. Uh, that Rubik, the fact that Rubik could steal only Viper Strike from me makes me a very, very sad Viper. It's kind of an inconvenient. Because it's a great spell. Lots of damage. It's like Gale, except it doesn't take any prisoners. Now, with my team, I'm going to have to be the one doing the damage, so I'm going to follow my... Uh, Kind of regular man style build. Okay, we have to watch out. Gotta watch out. I wonder if I can catch off the lich from the side here. Get him. Where, where, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, god damn it. Jakiro, why would you hug me like that? Oh, look, Drow took it away from us. Thank you, Drow. How nice of him. There goes, oh, come on, Magnus. You really gonna do that to me? After all I've done for your lane, you're just gonna snub me like that? 
Oh, hey, it's Shadow Fiend, and he's weak. Or we could go for the Lich. No, that was mine. You cannot do that twice, Magnus. That Lich Bounce was so lucky. Drow Ranger was... Th that Illusion Rune, that was so, so convenient. Uh, we're doing okay. We're uh, playing Viper as the early mid-game powerhouse that he is. Uh, Viper is a... It could carry, but he's not the best carry. Because he's very reliant on flat values. Kill him. Ice path. Not necessary. Because he's going to die anyway. Don't bring him all the way back there. But, uh... Dead is dead, so whatever. It works. We are going to... Manta style up. And we're going to cut this guy off right here. We could just... No, we're not going to auto-cast that. Where do you go? Oi. Get back here. Get the hell back here. Just take a tour of the towers. Oh, I will love to get my hands on one of those. Sorry, Drow. You've been outvoted. i make sure that this uh, Jakiro doesn't get caught off guard. We'll just push down the top tower. Why not? If I get the last hit, I'll be very close to an ultimate orb, which I would like to just to get that chunk out of the way. Oh, I need a teleportation scroll because mid lane looks like it's going to be a little bit of a party. So we're going to TP scroll up. <laughs> Don't you trust us? Oh shit, oh shit, no, oh shit. <sighs> okay. That was close. Thought my double damage would be enough to kill that, but uh, it was just barely. Enough. We're gonna kill these guys. Taking a little bit more damage than I would like. But I have a vanguard, so it's still not that much damage. We're gonna start building up that corrosive skin goodness. Their late game is Shadow Fiend and the DK, and that could be a little bit messy. Alright, let's stomp them, man. I am all up for stomping, people. I glide on. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Shackle him. I'll kill this guy. And this guy. Or not. You guys could... You guys could just kill the creeps. That's... That's fine. That's fine, man. We survived that chain frost, which is the important thing. They're going for a bot tower. Let's get some more of this. Do we have liquid fire? We do not have liquid fire. That is unfortunate. Windrunner is going to get the hell out of here, and uh, we should get the hell out of here, too. Let's do this. Let's get out of here. Because this is dangerous right here. Hmm. I think they're going to retaliate. Oh, wait. Mag is very, very soft. Okay. Not sure how much I like this. Yeah, they're trying to push. I'll bait him. There are okay. Or Mag could bait him. That's cool, too. I just wanted a little bit of gold. I was lying the entire time. <laughs> Jar Ranger's farming the jungle, so that should be fun. But it's night time. Okay. Second night. Let's see how this goes. We still have Mag gold. Night Stalker has nothing. That is exactly what I like to see. Okay, Pink is sticking around with very low HP. Oh, sup? Sup? That almost did something to me. No, they're they know we're here. They probably have this boarded. We just gotta wait it out in the late game because we have Drow Ranger who's gonna beast it up. We're actually uh, we're both kind of more mid game kind of damage dealers. So late game isn't exactly our turf, per se, like the Shadow Fiend no, and Dragon Knight. We should go mid. But I still think we should be able to take him, especially with the lead that we have right now. Come on. Yes. Come on. Okay. Bring it on. Uh, we have lots missing on the map. I don't really want to stay here for that long. I guess I'll keep farming. They are... If we could force them to be passive for this night phase... Yeah. 
that is the game strategy right there. So that is so far what has been working for us. Yes. With Viper, you gotta make sure that you don't get too overconfident in your ability to do damage. Because you could do a lot of damage, but a lot of that is uh, is damage over time. Not the, exactly the burstiest of heroes. So you just gotta make sure that you don't get too overconfident and uh, end up getting smushed by a whole bunch of heroes. But you can do stuff like that all day, man. 4v1. They're all going bot, watch it. Maybe. Oh, they're not. They think that illusion's real. Look at Mag with the micro. Look at this guy. Alright, getting the corrosive skin up. Magic resistance 20%. Uh, that is something that I do not want to stick around for because they're all missing. Night Stalker is over there, though. I can stick around a little bit more, can't I? Should be a little bit dangerous. I'm gonna get out of here. Oh, they're all mid. I keep going. <laughs> they're just sticking in the mid lane. If they're not aggressive during this night time, then that's a win for us. We just keep farming. Okay, now they're heading towards me. Teal, at least, is heading towards me. But Teal needs a damage dealer to accompany me. To accompany him. If that's actually going to happen. And, yeah. Nice. Sure surprised me. <laughs> you can force a fight. We're all pretty. Uh, we I'd rather see a maelstrom, though. If we could keep yes. him passive during this night phase, that is going to be amazing. Pretty sure this day oh, clock is messed up. Sure as hell is not daytime right now. I'm pretty sure it's not daytime. Oh shit. Lich be dead. Oh god, run! I'm coming! I'm coming! Guys. Guys, I'm coming. I'll get that poison pack on him. There we go. This game looks like it is about to come to a close. And since no one actually told me what they want out of these videos, like if they don't want stomps or whatever, then, uh, screw it. This game's going up, because Viper is such an open and shut case hero, and this is pretty much how you play him. Just get the orb walking down, and then everyone's happy, except for your enemies, who are very unhappy, because you are killing them all day long. Let's buy the expensive parts first. Get off me. Actually, I can tank this. Oh, where are you going, Night Stalker? Where are you going? That was the best skewer I've ever seen in my life. I'll take that one. Oh no, they took Viper Strike again. Let's uh, take the expensive part once again. And let's get the hell out of here. Come back. Yeah. Look at Drow doing a lot more damage than I'm doing. Yeah, Viper's stat growth isn't that spectacular either, so that's kind of another reason why his carry potential isn't the highest. But uh, when the enemies are shut down at every turn, it doesn't really matter what your stat growth is, right? Because you have items to back it up. Eh, didn't get that one, but we have a full-on Manta style right now. We are going to deliver that while we go back to the jungle. Next day, we could high ground them. As long as we keep uh, picking off the Lich. Holy crap, that drow. Double damage rune OP. I feel like double damage runes always come at the best times, but uh, illusion runes always come at the worst times. Like right now, I would like in it. I mean, illusion rune won't be that bad right now, because I could actually make use of it. But it's always like the first rune that you find is always illusion rune, and it doesn't do shit because illusion rune is pretty bad early game, and then you're always disappointed. That's just how the game goes sometimes, most of the time actually. Yes. Last tier 2 tower. Might as well take it. Alright, now I have a little bit of flexibility. 
Oh, we can just kill this guy real quick. Beautiful. Shadow blade positioning, and they still botched it. Get me in there. Let me in. Come. Okay. Yeah, you missed a bit, but that's okay. It's fine. I forgive you. Because you're doing okay regardless. BKB? BKB will be fun. Oh, I'll Shadow Blade. Theme, theme team. I'll get Shadow Blade too. Not because it's a great item on Viper, but because, uh... Oh, yeah, here we go. Kill this Rubik first. What the hell? Get them back here. Get away from me. Oh, I'm silenced. Oh, no. Let's kill this guy. Stop it. Stop it. I really want to kill you. I really do. I don't even need Mantis style, because I wasn't in... What the hell was that? Was that Shadow Fiend behind us? Whatever. It doesn't matter. Shadow Fiend's not a big deal. We have liquid fire on this tower. We're going to take this shit down. Hmm. Yeah. Manta style. Which one's more expensive? This one's more expensive. The reason why I'm buying expensive components is because it's a lot harder to accrue large amounts of gold than it is small. Oh my god. Yeah, 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 you gotta calm down there. Well, there he goes. Did not see that one coming, and neither did Drow. Stop it, Rubik. I really don't want to give you that spell. Oh, looks like you're not going to use it, though. That's unfortunate. Oh, dear. Ah, help. Help. Oh, oh, oh never mind. Oh, shit, Dragon Knight's alive. I require to help. Oh, shit. Dragon Tail's a low cooldown. Come on, come on, come on, Manta style. Oh. Damn it. Windrunner, why didn't you help me there? Man. Now it's a minute of boredom until we get back into this game. This game is already won, so I guess I could handle it. Was Drow dead? Drow was dead. Oh, if Drow was alive, I would have had the aura, and then I could have turned around. Well, I wasn't going to turn around anyway. I was silenced. Never mind. And you too, Jack. Jack. Too. Didn't realize his name. <laughs> Four puns. Shadowblade. Four staff? Okay. I'm okay with this. We should have turned our Ring of Aquila on, but we don't even need it at this point. Let's get rid of this. I'll take this. Under my wing. Oh, it'll be quite a surprise for them. Need True Sight for Shadowfiend. No! Drow, why? Well, I'll just kill everyone real quick. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Where'd all my mana go? It's all gone. How unfortunate. Shadowblade ganking is pretty fun, not gonna lie. I enjoyed that very much. Oh, right, empowered. There we go. I'm just gonna go ahead and go down here, scare yes. off Dragonite, and take this Rax down. Don't, please. Guys, help me, please. Oh no, I'm silenced. What am I gonna do? Okay, we're gonna just go ahead and kill everyone. Let's kill the Shadow Fiend first, because I don't want to deal with raises. Let's kill this guy because we can. And then let's turn on Shadow Blade and chase this guy down and then get the last right click. Damn it. Or we can just get this guy. Slow so hard. And that's gonna be game, guys. A little bit of a stomp, but that's typically what happens when Viper is in my hands. Because I am just so amazing at this hero. Clearly. But that's uh pretty much it. Went through a pretty extensive run through on how to play this hero, and then uh, showed you firsthand exactly how to do it. 
Maybe not against the brightest of opponents, but whatever, man. What? Navi's courier. Yeah, it's the Navi bro. We need. Oh no! Please don't! Please don't! Oh, why you gotta be like that? I want upgrades. Where am I? Where's my? Oh no! I can't click on the right thing. There we go. My item. Yes. I got the four staff, Windrunner. What next? Kill this guy real quick. And look at Windrunner just dodging everything. Well, I wonder if I could push someone in. This would be fun. Ready? Wait for it. Nope. Haha. <laughs> Denied. Get in there, Drow! Ah, good times. Well, hey! What are you doing? Stop that. Get back in your fountain. Don't want to deal with you right now. That's gonna be it guys, Viper. A very simple, straightforward hero. But he's still so much fun to play. I will never get tired of playing this hero. Actually, I probably will, that's a complete lie, but it still entertains me regardless. Thanks for watching guys. If you don't want to see any more stomps, you gotta let me know or else I'm just gonna keep on uploading them. This is going to be Viper V2. Rather successful game. Show you how to dominate the mid lane. Show you how to leave a little bit and gank around a little bit as well. And that is going to be that. No items were had, unfortunately. That's about it, guys. GG. Oh, yeah, and like and subscribe and stuff.